everybody, and welcome to yet another randomized vanilla run in Northern Lions play of the Binding of Isaac. We're gonna random, we're gonna go, oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Blue Baby again, but you know, if I sound disappointed, I probably shouldn't, because this has actually been uh, kind of a staggeringly good time, or a positive time, uh, in my runs with Blue Baby recently. In fact, in the last episode, if you haven't seen that, I don't want to spoil it, but we did uh, exceptionally well as Blue Baby, largely due to the random number generator. I can't take too much credit for that, thank you very much. Uh, but that's why I'm gonna, I'm continuing to do these randomized runs, or not randomized runs, but like vanilla runs where I random a character as opposed to simply giving myself a, a challenge run, because I've been having a lot of fun with them so far. They've been fairly varied uh, and interesting, so you know, when these stop being fun, I'll, I'll primarily go back to challenge runs, and I will do challenge runs interstitially as well, uh, but I think what I really need is like a super bad vanilla run to cause me to be like, well, you know what, fuck it, let's go back to, uh, you know, runs where I start really powerful and then, you know, have an opportunity to throw it later, I guess. I really hope we get an attack fly here, but as of, uh, so far, or as of right now, I've been enjoying the game uh, a lot in its vanilla context again, which is a lot of fun, you know? Oh, just play it cool. Um, what's obviously, like, a defining feature of Isaac is the fact that every run is a little bit different, just kind of by virtue of the fact that there's randomized elements, uh, you know, enemy placement, room layout, and, uh, obviously the most important one being the items, but, uh, yeah, so every run, even from a vanilla context, shoop the whoop, that was unexpected. But every run, even in a vanilla run, is uh, different from the last. So, you know, every run's kind of its own unique challenge run in a way, is the way that I would like to put it. Uh, as is, though, we are going to try to uh, see what we can do here. Celtic Cross plus uh, Shoop to Whoop is not my ideal item combination after the first room, or after the first floor. Uh, but we'll see what we get from our boss here. Maybe we'll get something amazing. And uh, perhaps beyond that, we should focus on the positive, mainly being uh, that we've gotten rid of Poop very early, so we have a better offensive item. Uh, and if I aim this properly... Which was actually, it went fairly well right there, even though I ended up only getting a speed upgrade, that was very positive. Uh, but if I aim the laser positively, uh, it should be easy to take out bosses in one or two hits. As just happened right there, as you saw. Now, obviously, looking for bombs, looking for keys. Um, we got very, very lucky on the last run. It's unlikely we'll have a run like that again for, you know, maybe like 150 episodes or something like that. Think of all the items we got. Polyphemus, Mom's, uh, mom's Knife. Whore of Babylon with permanent, uh, Whore of Babylon, this, or, yeah, permanent extra, permanent curse of the, I, I don't even remember, permanent curse day, that's what I call it. It's been so long since I've had it that I kind of got lost for words there. Permanent Polaroid Invincibility, Polyphemus, tons of damage, it, it was just a, an incredible run by basically any metric. Not to mention I got a, a whole bunch of spirit hearts just kind of randomly as well, so please give me a key here so I can open this golden chest. Uh, so yeah, if, if things don't go as well on this run, I hope you'll forgive me, because I am doing my damnedest here to make it happen, but, uh, you know, I, I'm at the mercy of the random number generated to a large extent. Now, we could end up having a, an amazing run like we did last time, or we could end up having a terrible run, you know, with Blue Baby it's kind of a crapshoot. Uh, and that's what I like about it. Well, sometimes you triumph in spite of the adversity, sometimes you triumph as a result of the game kind of hooking you up. I really... Ideally would love to get more of these tinted rocks. Those have been excellent so far. We did get small rock as well really early in the last run And that actually kind of set the stage that helped us a lot by giving us good base damage right off the bat Which we were then able to uh, kind of transition into uh, a, a very good run Not that the random number generator didn't have basically everything to do with it But still oh managed to kill him before he got to me. We got a lot of keys here, which is awesome We will be able to open up that golden chest x-ray goggles means free uh, secret room, which might actually give us enough money to go to the shop, and you know, from the shop, there's a lot of great items uh, that I am on the lookout for, for sure. Uh, you'll play it once. I always, uh, the superstitious, like to play those once just to see if we get a trinket or a spirit heart, especially as Blue Baby, it can be really important. Uh, but yeah, you know, we, we would love to get the map, compass, blue candle, uh, probably Book of Revelations at this point, just to amass some extra spirit hearts. Seven cents. It's tempting, but also very scary. Um, I don't necessarily want to get this Eternal Heart until we're done with the boss fight. Uh, the Golden Chest didn't really pan out all that well for us, and since we're on the damn, like, Curse of Darkness floor, Curse of Blindness, I have no idea where the shop is. Uh, let me just tool around a little bit here until I can find it. Maybe we'll fight our boss and then I'll go look for it afterwards. Oh, the shop's right next to the boss. Please be an item on sale. Oh my god, Blue Candle is here, so if we get Pageant Boy, I could actually replace, um... Oh, there we go. I could actually replace uh, Shoop to Whoop with Blue Candle. And, you know, Candle is effectively like a truncated version of Shoop to Whoop that can be reused every single room multiple times if necessary. Uh, so it's definitely like a solid upgrade in the spacebar department. Uh, not to mention we had that item last time. I totally forgot about that, but that made a big difference in our chances of success as well. Anyway, uh, long story short, I'm going to do my damnedest to get some extra money, but there's really not a whole lot we can do uh, if we don't get Pageant Boy from this boss right here. Uh, oh, and obviously we're not going to get Pageant Boy because we're going to get Cube of Meat. Now let me think about this for a second. What do we have in here? We have Horror Babylon and... 
That's gonna take us to like minus health. No, we just can't pick it up. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get a dime out of one of these fires. We got a penny. That's not nearly enough. It's a shame. What I was thinking is we'll take the Whore of Babylon, go down to minus one health, get the Eternal Heart, uh, and then we'll pop back up a little bit. But it's not really going to work out like that, is it? Well, it's a darn shame uh, that we're not going to be able to get Blue Candle or Whore of Babylon. We're certainly in a pretty substantially worse position than we were at this time during our last round. But that's the Binding of Isaac in a nutshell, you know? Sometimes it works out well. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get that momentum, that snowballing going behind you. So uh, maybe we're not going to be... You know, smashing faces right off the bat here. That was almost close to taking some stupid damage there. Yeah, maybe we're not going to be like a face breaker right off the bat, but that's uh, that's okay. You know, you don't have to necessarily steamroll the first few floors to have a chance of success. You just need to keep yourself in the game as long as you possibly can. So hopefully this guy will pop back up in a second so I can knock him out of the game. Really, any second now, if you would be so kind. There we go. Of course, causing me to actually be able to fire more slowly at him. Uh, is he seriously not dead yet? This is why I try to illustrate uh, that we definitely need something to up our base damage. I really hate this room as Blue Baby, uh, largely because I worry about those spikes, but also because it just takes a long time to make good things happen here. So we're going to come down here. Always want to give yourself an escape route. We're playing things very um, diligently or, you know, deliberately in this position. Methodically is maybe a good way to put it, to make it sound a little bit more intellectual than it is. Hopefully not every room takes that long. Now, with only one key uh, and only nine cents, at least as of right now, we're probably going to be in the market to play that judgment and instead use our uh, key to go to the item room. That's just the way it, it tends to go, at least in my MO for playing the Binding of Isaac. Of course, the more money we get, the more tempting the shop becomes. Um, there's another Eternal Heart, which is very worthwhile, but obviously we don't want to... Oh! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh, thank God. Uh, obviously we don't want to take the... Uh... Oh! Eternal Heart right away, just in case it ends up effing with us a little bit. So we'll just keep in mind that there's an Eternal Heart back there. I'll try not to forget. Although, it's probably uh, a likely situation, or a likely scenario, that uh, I will forget about it. There's our boss room. I would ideally like to get our Shoop to Whoop back. This is going to be more of the, like, the Bear Grylls run. The last run you saw, that was like the Richard Branson run. I had all the resources I could possibly want. Who cares that I had a good run, right? Now we're Bear Grylls. We've been dropped into the Caves XL uh, without that much at our disposal. You know what? We actually need more keys to be able to go to both item rooms. I just noticed we were on an XL floor. So I'm going to play Judgment first in the hopes that he's going to give me some more keys. Strength is fine. In fact, what we might do is use this Strength card to go... Uh, fight a boss, because that'll give us a little bit of extra damage. Beat the boss, and then use uh, the laser against the, the boss the next time. If that makes any sense at all. We've only got two cents left here. Please tell me... Oh, that key is actually really valuable. That's what I came here for, but another item would be... Uh, okay, well, we'll, we'll get, see if we can get some more money, and then we'll come back to this dude. So first things first. We're going to be fighting Peep. We're going to pop the strength card. Uh, should allow us to do at least a little bit more damage. Uh, and we do have another spirit heart, just in case things go absolutely horribly wrong. Uh, we did take a little bit of damage. I believe that just comes out of, like, our strength card. So it also gives us, like, a free two hits. And I believe if we get hit during uh, that period, then the strength card just uh, absorbs it forever, basically. So just watch out for the creep. We are about 50% of the way through this fight. Uh, almost dodged directly into that shot because I'm a big ding-dong. It's okay. You want to get as far away as possible when Peep does his jumps. Just so you have a chance to see where the shots are going and then move out of the way. Also, uh, you know, it helps to stay out of the way of the eyes as well, but that's okay. So I'm just going to keep... Uh, Shooting here, and well, I mean that's probably pretty obvious if you're watching the screen But I'm a little bit concerned about the end of this fight because the eyes always cause me to fuck up my dodging good So we got a tears upgrade and an opportunity to get hopefully a small rock and some spirit hearts or any combination thereof Single spirit heart could have been better, but it could have been worse for sure uh, And fistula and you know what fistula is a great uh, boss for us to fight with the laser It should allow us so we're just gonna like do a little bit of breaking them apart and then we're gonna shoot the laser like, now, and, uh, yeah, that allowed us to really simplify this fight, even though I did still take some damage by being a big idiot there. That's okay. Hopefully we don't get hit by this silkworm. We would have, probably, if I had chosen to play chicken with it, but thankfully I got out of the way. Now, again, we could earn a, a deal with the devil here. We don't want to go down to the next floor yet. We still have two item rooms and the possibility of the shop, not to mention a secret room. Squeezy is an awesome item upgrade to get when you're Blue Baby. The extra tiers upgrade is fantastic. And the Miter. All right, so these are two items that we had in our last run as well. These are going to pretty greatly increase our chances of success. At least they're going to give us a kind of a base to build uh, chances for success off of. So we're going to look for our item rooms. Oh, I almost walked on the spikes there. We're going to look for our... Last secret room, and we'll use any money first uh, to get a crack at that judgment to see if he's actually going to pay out with a good item. Uh, and then we'll use it on uh, the shop if we have more left at the end of that, which is probably unlikely. That was bad damage to take. I probably should not have rushed in there. That being said, not the end of the world. We're still doing okay on health, which is not something you can always say 
uh, when you're playing as Blue Baby and you know you're, you're done with the catacombs. We, keep in mind we are on the uh, XL floor of the kind of harder version of the floor. Uh, so I, I think I've done reasonably well here. Here's our item rooms. One contains Peeper's Eye. You know, fairly solid um, passive item here. Every penny counts, so I'm going to continue getting these. Might be the difference between getting a great item from Judgment and not getting a great item from Judgment. And uh, there's a Spirit Heart here I'll probably trade a bomb for. Also, all stats up. That's fantastic. Uh, mostly the extra damage is the, the most important thing there. The extra health doesn't hurt, though. And, of course, the other stats like speed and range and tears. That's cool, too. So I did use my last bomb, which kind of sucks because there is a Tinted Rock in here. But hopefully we... we could... Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I really did not expect that to happen. Uh... I didn't think I was within the blast range there, but we are going to continue going to the rest of the floor just in case we get more bombs. You know there's a tinted rock we want to get. Uh, I absolutely 100% want to make sure that I get the uh, golden, uh, not golden, sorry, the the uh, eternal heart as well to help me out. But uh, there's not too much we can do to guarantee that. But, you know, every penny I get means the greater possibility of getting items from Judgment, which is fantastic. Uh, and those items could contain bombs. Now, we've got a lot of rooms left remaining to us. We've already gone to all the special rooms, but it's a big floor, so uh, hopefully we, we managed to capitalize on that. There is our secret room. I We have another judgment card, so I could really use uh, more money here. More bombs, obviously beneficial as well, but uh, what do we have in here? Nine cents! Awesome. That's beautiful. Uh, I want to clear out this entire floor. I think we're strong enough that we're not going to lose a whole lot of health, and uh, beyond that, if I manage to get even more bombs, even more money, obviously there's some stuff that I want to crack open. Those tinted rocks are big. Uh, there's more spirit hearts just kind of sitting around randomly. That's going to be awesome that we just got some extra bombs so we can make this happen with a little bit more reliability in all likelihood. Trying to use uh, the laser a little bit more effectively. It's not one of my favorite spacebar items in the game, uh, but it's certainly there, there's items that are a lot worse than it that I pick up on the regular, kind of. And you know what? We might actually be able to make the shop worthwhile here. Trading a bomb for a key might become a prudent decision later, but as of right now, I'm just going to continue doing my due diligence. The bombs are important to help me open up these uh, tinted rocks, which kind of sit around here. Uh, we are going to just continue killing these silkworms, and we've had very good luck with consumable drops so far, which I can't complain about at all. Ideal situation, we get a, a little bit more money, maybe we get up to like 20 cents, the judgment pays out super quickly, uh, with, uh, whatever item he's gonna give us, and it, it ends up being a good item, but I, you know, I can't bank on that necessarily. Then I use my existing money and keys to go to the shop, and I pick up another good item there. That would be the ideal circumstance, uh, for what could possibly happen here. Now! You know, it's called ideal for a reason. That's a, a perfect world situation. It may not end up happening that way, but uh, either way, I feel like we're doing pretty well here. Uh, we've gotten some little bit of damage increase so far on this floor. Uh, it's a big floor, which I actually like in this situation because it gives us uh, a lot of opportunities to mine some good materials effectively that we can use uh, a little bit later. Now, I hate this room. As you saw, I, I took some damage on this room the last time I was here, but these guys move dynamically different ways every single time. Uh, so that one actually ended up being a lot easier for us. We've got to have almost cleared this out by now. There's got to be like a dead end coming up here at some point, which will represent the end of this floor for us. If there is a benevolent force in the universe, that is. Okay, just dodge in between that. And one, ah, two more hits maybe? What do we have now? Five bombs, three keys, 14 cents, and a boss trap room, which we can go to for sure. Now I'm really glad that I explored the entirety of this floor. Even though it's taken us a long time, this might end up, you know, when we look back, we might say, oh, this was the, the decision that ended up uh, making this run actually feasible. Please drop some spirit hearts, Mr. Champion, when you die. Uh, you dropped a chest, and there's probably going to be another consumable somewhere else on the floor, if I had to guess. Yes, okay, so let's use that bomb to open this chest. We got a bomb on this room anyway, so it's like a net zero change. Ah, uh, so we ended up trading a bomb for a bomb. Not so bad, not so great. We will take our tears upgrade with the magic... Ah, oh, I stood right next to it and lost a spirit heart. That is a damn fool, but you know, tears upgrade is awesome, especially when we're not doing crazy damage. The ability to increase our rate of fire is actually uh, extraordinarily useful here. So he's gonna die. Hope I was hoping he would die before he managed to take that shot there. Uh, no such luck. Now, can I get a good laser here? Well, I managed to kill uh, one of them in a single blast, which is fine. Alright, half a spirit heart for that tears upgrade is fine. The world card... Ugh. I might want to take it with me, but I also want this judgment. Uh, I want to. I want to keep this judgment card with me just in case something amazing happens as a result of that. I think it's definitely worthwhile to come through here and pick up this pill and this spirit heart, especially since I've been losing a little bit of health. Please be a good pill. Range down. Not the end of the world, quite honestly. Um, so why don't we instead just move on? I'm very tempted to go into that shop. Don't get me wrong. This the end of this floor has been very good to us. There was a tinted rock up here, I believe. Uh, yeah, one right here. So we'll. Pop that open, see what we get. Small rock. No, bomb and a spirit heart. That's okay, too. 
I think what we should do is... Okay, I'm gonna use a key to open up the shop. If there's an amazing item, I'll buy it for 15 cents. I can get the money if necessary. The ladder for 7 cents is worthwhile. I'm gonna save the rest of the money, not get that spirit heart, because I really believe that this judgment could pay out amazingly for us. Uh, was there a blood bank over here? This has been a, a very... I'm racking my brain here because this is such an enormous floor. Okay, so there's this is the judgment. We're gonna see if he pays out. Uh, he did with an HP upgrade. Well worth it then. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna take this judgment card. Oh, we gotta get the eternal heart. I'll take the judgment card with me down to the next floor. Uh, and when I have a lot of money, then I can pop it down and use it at will. And also, you can use judgment on a um, deal with the devil to possibly earn a deal with the devil r or item. So if, if we get another opportunity to pick up a deal with the devil item, that would be awesome. Okay, so that was a, a long floor, but we made some good things happen, so I'm pleased with that. I don't want to take the world card. I mean, I do want to take the world card, but I'd rather keep the judgment card. Alright, so we are on Necropolis 1. It is not an XL floor, which is a refreshing change of pace, believe you me. Free Spirit Heart is awesome. We did pick up the ladder there, so that might open up uh, some doors for us. Uh, figuratively. I don't really want to pick that up, honestly. Uh, we'll drop a bomb in here just so we can get through and pick up another bomb. It's effectively a, a trade of zero for a little bit of access. And uh, I do want to open up this item or this golden chest, but it, it's probably not going to be in the cards for us, really, uh, unless I get exceptionally lucky and manage to get more keys. Because as of right now, or a golden key, I would welcome that as well. Uh, thank you, Peeper's Eye, by the way, for being a very passive but positive source of killing here. What do we have in our red chest? Two live bombs? Yeah, that has a tendency to not work out that well. You know what? Let's open up our golden chest. Fuck the shop for now. We can always, yeah, get more keys later. That actually ended up working out fantastically for us. Now with three keys, we probably should open up the shop because our, our next secret room, well, I guess we might as well see if there's any money in here first. There's a slot machine. You know, we could get an item for seven cents. Maybe we fight greed. That would actually be better for us. And, uh, you know, we'll hit him right off the bat where it hurts. And uh, we'll get a little bit of money. Maybe a steam sale at the end of this. Hopefully a key as well because I spent one to get in. Fantastic. All right, so now we have uh, 15 cents. This is probably our ideal floor to use a judgment on. Uh, but I will just wait until we uh, see if we get a deal with the devil room. In which case, we can maybe snag an awesome item for free. Bomb bag. Fantastic. We're always going to need more bombs to pop open tinted rocks and do damage to mom's heart and perhaps other bosses a little bit later. Now, this is far from the uh, the coup that the, the last blue baby run was. That was, like, truly remarkable. At the same time, uh, we have the potential, I think, to turn this into a winning run. That's It might sound like that's like, oh, no big deal, you've beaten the game hundreds of times. It matters as Blue Baby. Like That, that is a big deal when you're playing as Blue Baby, because not every run with Blue Baby can be a winning run. Even if you play like as best as you possibly could, uh, for the most part, the, you're going to be hamstrung by other factors a lot of the time. Not every player, I guess, but at my skill level, at least. Uh, so having the, the ability to say, like, oh, this could be a winning run if things go well, is actually uh, a little bit rare and, and quite positive as well. So I'm just going to use the laser to kind of do some crowd control here. That's going to simplify this room. Might not have been the most necessary time to use it, but oh, I'd, yeah, like for example, I definitely now wish I'd saved it for this room. But these masks should be unable to come over here. So provided I kind of like solid snake my way over here, I could even just hang out and let Peeper's Eye probably do a lot of the dirty work for me here. Uh, which I'm hopefully is, that's going to be the case right here. All right, that went pretty well. Uh, I cannot complain about that at all. That's uh, I'm going to vow to remember that every time I complain about Peeper's Eye, because that actually did a great deal of good for me. We just traded a bomb and a key for a single penny, which is a pretty shitty trade, all things told. Okay, now we're on a kind of a shitty room here, because I can't actually use uh, anything to give myself cover. But, that being said, we did get permanent, or we got invincibility probably by way of the uh, Celtic Cross there, I suppose. And we'll continue moving onwards. This is uh, kind of a no-brainer for using my... Oh, be careful here. That was a no-brainer for using uh, Shoop de Whoop, I think. We'll pr hopefully get it back for the boss. We actually might not. Which is unfortunate, but still, uh, you know, bosses, they have patterns that make them kind of easier to fight than uh, those greed heads a lot of the time. They could have easily ended up doing damage to me. Like, if we end up fighting uh, a war, I'm probably more likely to take damage against that, like, greed head rune than I am against the war. Okay. Was there anything else that I was thinking? No, we want to drop this judgment card in the deal with the devil room, if at all possible. Now I guess it's time to put my money where my mouth is, motherfucker. Uh, and, and we'll see if we can make this work. Obviously, I'm not going to blow up this tinted rock just yet, because I want to see if War blows it up uh, by himself. That was kind of close. Uh, both to hitting me and to blowing up the tinted rock. 
This is okay. Even if we end up taking a little damage here, it's not the end of the world. As you can probably guess by the fact that we're actually... Yep, there we go. Doing fairly well uh, overall in the game at this point. So we will get a second level cube of meat. That's a little bit of extra DPS. I do have the speed necessary to get around this war for sure. Every time we shoot him as well, it'll slow him down a little bit. But largely, I've already gotten one speed upgrade and an all stats upgrade. So I'm unlikely to be killed here. Sadly, no deal with the devil. So I am going to actually save the... Uh, judgment card, because that could end up being a huge coup for us a little bit later. That small rock is actually super valuable. Extra damage, even if it does slow us down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, if we end up getting, you know, we could get like Spirit of the Night or Mom's Knife or something as a result of, of saving this card versus getting like an HP upgrade or something if, for 15 cents right now. Uh, so I think, all told, this is probably the better decision in the long run. Alright, that was a very good use of that laser. We are also going to pick up three Spirit Hearts on this room. And it's only the depth, so I feel a little bit more relaxed. Uh, than I might otherwise be by this point. That is uh, another HP upgrade. Not so useful when you're playing as Blue Baby, but uh, that's an awesome HP upgrade when you're playing as a character that has red hearts because it heals you a lot as well. Anyway, I kind of feel bad about talking shit about Shoop the Whoop because it has actually turned out to be uh, fairly useful for us over the course of this run so far. It recharges quickly and uh, provided you shoot effectively. Uh, oh, get out of there. Uh, provided you use it effectively, you can really use it to crowd control the shit out of a room or do a ton of damage to a boss. So, again, even though this is not nearly as powerful as our uh, last run, I really was hoping to use the ladder to just get over a gap here. Um, even though this hasn't been nearly as powerful as our last run, it's been pretty good so far. Uh, I, I can't complain in the least. So, Peeper's Eye obviously is a, a, a focal point for me here. Please uh, hit these zombies and do some damage. We got a random spirit heart uh, just for playing the game here. Two, three spirit hearts randomly dropping on that room. Uh, very unexpected, shall we say. That was a terrible use of Shoop to Whoop. Uh, hopefully we get a battery or something to make it a little bit more useful, or we just get a better item uh, from our space bar, or from our shop. Anyway, we have a lot more exploring to do, so let's not worry about that just yet. Again, if you're just joining us, saving this judgment card for a deal with the devil. Uh, and you know what? If we can beat the game successfully twice in a row, the whole game successfully twice in a row as Blue Baby, I would be fucking thrilled. That would be... Unprecedented, maybe, is not the right word, uh, but maybe unprecedented for me, and just largely pretty impressive, considering uh, Blue Baby starts with a lot of disadvantages. Now, Bisnab and I have had some back and forth over uh, who we feel the uh, the worst character in the game is. I believe he thinks Samson's the worst character in the game. I tend to be uh, more on the side of, like, a Blue Baby as the worst character in the game, maybe Eve. Uh, and, you know, there's convincing arguments on both sides, I think. But, uh, you know, suffice it to say, beating the game twice in a row as Isaac or Judas is pretty impressive. Beating it twice in a row as, as one of the worst characters in the game, uh, kind of objectively. I, I think everyone agrees that it's basically like Blue Baby Eve and Judas, or Blue Baby Eve and Samson uh, at the bottom. Uh, beating the game twice in a row as uh, any of those characters is pretty impressive. Anyway, I'm going to stop filleting myself. And getting ahead of myself, because we are, um, that was almost like a sweet pun there somehow, you probably caught it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we're, we're far from being over with the game, so I should stop talking as if it's a foregone conclusion that we're going to succeed. All I know right now, we've got decent damage, we've got good health. That can erode pretty quickly, though. Um, as you can see, especially if I continue taking dumb damage like that. But, we do have the miter. Ooh, that could have ruined it right there. Um, we do have the miter. Uh, so we, we have some very positive things, uh, buoying us as well. Now, if I could just get a better spacebar item. You know, the treasure map is kind of useless, but at the same time, I might as well buy it just because it'll show us where some dead ends are. Um, we have Mom here. Laser doesn't strike me as being too effective against Mom, but we'll see. Next time I see uh, her body come down, not this time, next time I see her body come down, I'll charge the laser. So, it, you know, it might be effective from crowd control as well. Uh, just bounce around a little bit here. Do I, There it is. Uh, that did, like, basically no damage. So maybe, you know, laser versus mom is not necessarily the, the best, uh, use of it, but that's fine. We're gonna get through this fight regardless. Now, remember, we started amassing some advantages now. We have, we're gonna have permanent Polaroid invincibility. In fact, in some ways, we kind of already do by way of the Celtic Cross. Um, but we're gonna have it consistently, which is gonna be awesome for us. Oh, oh my god, I got hit by the fucking, uh, fly at the end of that. That's okay, though. No deal with the devil yet! So I'll continue saving this card, and we may indeed get our third level cube of meat as we move down to the next floor. Now, of course, you know, there's always the potential that um, by using this Judgment card now, it could pay out with something like the Compass, which would obviously be fantastic, especially given our current position. Now, if I'm looking at this, where do I see the boss rooms? Bottom left, top left, or middle right seem like logical uh, areas. So I'm going to start uh, by going to the left here, because there's, you know, two possible locations that I can see as it versus one. Uh, it's not to say those are the only positions. It's just, you know, on XL floors, it can be fairly easy 
uh, to see where the boss rooms are, because they have to be, like, dead ends at a terminal, which you're not going to see too many of. Uh, and they have to be, like, a, a dead end... How, how's the, how do I phrase this? It's kind of already, They have a very distinctive shape. Like, it has to be a room followed by only one other room, which is, I guess, maybe the definition of a dead end now that I think about it. But, uh, again, hopefully you understand what I'm getting at here when I say that. Uh, now, I'm not... I'm going to be bypassing the secret room if we end up finding the boss rooms right away. That's fine, though. I, I, I You know, it's fairly unlikely that there would be, like, a... Uh, fetus in a jar or something like that, or an epic fetus, so, or a one-up or an onk. It's possible, but, uh, I don't think it's necessarily worth the risk. This money, for once, actually is super beneficial. This is not the right way. So I feel confident enough to use my laser there. That probably, in all honesty, saved me from losing a spirit heart, so I feel good about that. We're definitely still at the point in the game where I'm gonna have to continually gain spirit hearts, because I don't have enough to, to buoy me for the rest of the game. So, unfortunately, uh, this is not the right way either. So we, we've made a mistake, that's okay. Uh, I think we haven't lost spirit hearts, uh, or we've lost, like, one in our entire trip over here, which is fine. Picked up another key as a result as well. Uh, so I'm gonna guess that it's over there on the middle right. And it actually might be in our best interest to go up to the secret room now. Because, I mean, it's just a quick hop, skip, and a jump away. There's a, there's a couple of possible um, boss room locations in there, even though I didn't consider it kind of unlikely. This is why I bought the map, by the way. Seven cents uh, for the map at this point in the game without the compass, and when you already have the locations of the secret rooms mapped out from... Uh, the, uh, what is this, the Hermit? Nah, it doesn't really do us any good. When you already have the locations of the secret rooms known to you thanks to X-Ray Goggles, it's kind of a tall ask. The reason I consider it kind of valuable is because it allows us to skip those rooms that would, uh, otherwise, we wouldn't know were dead ends. So, you know, it's gonna save us probably, like, 10 or 12 rooms. Let's get Peeper's Eye to do our dirty work, uh, over the course of the entire game, so it's not a necessarily a, a bad idea. I'm gonna fight, uh, Greed here, the reason largely being because if he gives me a little extra money, I could possibly use that to secure, uh, more judgment payout. But anyway, we didn't get, uh, much there. We're just gonna quickly go check out this side to see if we had accidentally walked into the boss room, but we didn't, so I would say, uh, we are A-OK -okay to start making our way over to the right there. So by way of the map and the x-ray goggles, uh, I basically saved myself, uh, an F-ton of rooms here. What is this? Range upgrade. Probably not worth it. Um, you know, if I was... Ooh, that was kind of close. If I was being, like, really tactical and a little risky, what I could do is, like, get the range upgrade, but... What, do we know what this is? Range down. Uh, but carrying in the, uh, Hermit card with me, so after I pick up the range upgrade, just walk out, uh, or TP out, basically, and then, uh... Oh, two golden chests here. Interesting. Uh, but is that the in my best interest? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. There's Tammy's head. Uh, I'm just gonna... Use my laser to hopefully simplify this room. It didn't work out as well as I anticipated. Uh, Tammy's head's an alright item. I, I think the laser's gonna be better for us in the long run, even though we can only use it once every three rooms. Uh, it's been good to us so far, is basically my reasoning there. I don't want to necessarily, you know, be like, Oh, you've been good to us, but what have you done for us lately? Uh, I'm perfectly content with the way that uh, the laser has behaved so far. It's largely a, a case of user error when it makes, or when it doesn't seem to have that much of an impact. So I'm really hoping we earn a deal with the devil on this boss fights, or on, on these boss fights, I guess I should say. This is definitely uh, our boss room. There's no other possible location here, and even though this has been a slow run so far, it's been a consistent run. We've managed to improve ourselves pretty greatly, uh, and I am thankful for that. We also have 26 bombs, so after fighting Mom's Heart... Oh, you know what? I don't even think we can earn a deal with the devil on this, uh, because we're gonna be doing... On XL floors, I don't think you can get a deal with the devil, unfortunately, uh, because normally you'd get it after the Utero 1, uh, or Utero 1, I should say, not the Utero 1, but, uh, in this situation, obviously, that's completely impossible because we're gonna go straight to the Mom's, uh, Heart Boss fight. So, uh, we, we could get the White Pony here. Is that gonna beat the laser? In all likelihood, you know, it might, but I'm probably gonna stick with the laser again, just because it's been fairly good for us so far, and it's not an item that's good against bosses, uh, as you can see here, but it is an item that has actually done a, a, a good deal of good when it comes to skipping enemies. Now, the ability to fly, or skipping rooms, I should say, the ability to fly, very important as well. Um, however, the, um, you know, I, I guess we'll use this judgment card on the next floor, but... Um, however, the, the laser has allowed us to get through some rooms that would otherwise be super difficult with a little bit extra ease. Now, hopefully on the chest, if we assuming we get there, which is a, a possibility, at least, uh, to put it politely, um, we uh, will hope to get a better spacebar item. There's no question about that. You know, this is not one of the ideal... It's not one of the holy, like 
you did you speak no ill of this items in the Binding of Isaac. It's just been better than usual, I guess you could say, for us so far. So it's definitely been better than the poop, and we did get it on the first floor, so it's been with us for a long time. Mom's Heart boss fight has gone exceptionally well here, I would say. It took a little bit of damage, I think, but uh, still, hearts off the screen. Good news. Um, just play it cool over here in the corner, and uh, assuming that we manage to take out these enemies before they get to us, we should be A-OK. -okay. Again, not the uh, roundhouse kick to the face that the last run was. At the same time, fairly easy. Um, now, this is not a deal with the angel room, right? It's just a uh, trip downwards. Just wanted to make sure, because we could use that judgment effectively. In our secret room here, we have a lot more money. And you know what? I would say that is basically our cue uh, to start using this judgment and see what he pays out with. Maybe he'll give us a better space bar item, or just a stats upgrade, or, you know, a single spirit heart. I, I can't believe I carried it that long to get that little, but you know, you, you knew where my uh, intentions lie there. Uh, so hopefully uh, you're not too mad at me for that not working out, because it could have worked out amazingly. And in fact, the odds were, were kind of in favor of it working out fairly substantially better than it actually did. So, you know, sometimes shit happens, I suppose, is the, the best way to think about that. Uh, instead, we're just gonna move on. We No point in uh, crying over spilt milk, you know? Uh, I, I really hate Daddy Longlegs, specifically for this ability that he has right here. Yep, and the ability to do damage to us. Uh, but at least that puts us in permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, I took a little bit more damage. It really, uh, he's like a character where I'm like, if I don't have Mom's knife, I don't want to fucking deal with this dude. Or Brimstone, I suppose. Please die before you uh, get to shoot again. Peeper's Eye, finish him off! There we go, okay. So we lost two Spirit Hearts there, more than I would like. Uh, well, you know, even zero Spirit Hearts is more than I would like. That being said, let's uh, drop some laser in here. I was kind of hoping that that would uh, be able to do a little bit more damage than it actually did, but we'll just focus on this Loki right here. When did my tears start firing so quickly? That's actually awesome. I wonder if that's a result of the... Uh, I guess maybe the 8-ball was the last tears upgrade we got. I can't remember specifically. Um, we'll just keep blowing up these bomb flies just to kind of simplify the map a little bit. Uh, we're not going to get that third level cube of meat, unfortunately, unless it just shows up randomly in the chest, which seems unlikely. And this is what I worry about, because we're on this room now, uh, or we're on this floor now, and we're not getting through rooms quickly enough, and we're not getting through these rooms without losing health, which is really uh, a, a problem. This is where things start spiraling out of control. Eventually, you start to lose traction, and it's just a matter of like having enough health to kind of survive the whole fall. Uh, being, you know, Curse of the Blind here is not... Helping us out. There's another judgment and a second secret room. This judgment could be uh, more beneficial than the last. Obviously, his effect has already worn off because we've been hit several times since getting his uh, health upgrade. But maybe he will give me a compass or something like that, or a tarot card like the Emperor, which will allow me to go directly to the boss. We shall see. Momentarily, hopefully, because I don't have all day here. I could still, so I, you know, I got 23 cents, 22 cents now. I could just sit here and play this forever. Uh, mini mush. That's uh, speed plus range, and does it make us fire faster? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, tarot card, or sorry, not tarot card, fortune teller. I uh, just wanted to play it once and see what we got. Flat penny would have been awesome earlier in the game, but obviously as of now we are stuck with mom's, uh, sorry, the Polaroid. I was going to say mom's purse, but that is uh, a misnomer. I would love to have mom's purse, but instead we're stuck with the Polaroid. And that's A-OK, -okay, you know. Uh, I just wanted to leave there because I was pretty sure we're going to take damage, so let's try that room all over again. There we go, start a chain reaction. It's going to make things a lot easier on us. Please tell me. We are coming across the boss room soon. Now, sadly, that was a situation where the laser was, uh, you know, uh, set up with the best intentions, but unfortunately I had to dodge uh, otherwise I was gonna end up taking a hit So I ended up having to take out these guys the old-fashioned way, but that's all right uh, Because we didn't take any damage as a result, so I guess you could say that room went uh, About as good as I possibly could have anticipated Obviously we have a very specific mo for fighting monstro too. gonna be a pain in the dick because uh, we fire so quickly that he's gonna be uh, Bounced around a lot, but that being said, you know, it's better this way than having like a red monstro too. I'll fight like Vanilla monstro 2 versus red monstro 2 any day of the week uh, Especially if you get two red monstro 2s. It's just a clusterfuck blue baby soul not that interested uh, the pony real pain in the ass uh, kind of objectively uh, that almost hit me. Uh, this is okay, though. Basically, focus on the helmet when the helmet's up, focus on the pony when the helmet's not up. So, I really would love the ability to fly. We'll see if maybe we can swing that once we get uh, down to the chest. Of course, we still have to beat Isaac. I think we have enough health, though, to beat Isaac. It's just a matter of, um, you know, whether or not we're going to be able to transition that into being able to beat uh, Blue Baby. So, there's our boss room. Uh, I'm going to save the laser, even though the laser is unlikely to be really effective against uh, Isaac. Uh, any damage helps, I guess. We have a ton of bombs that we can drop down, and we're going to have permanent Polaroid invincibility uh, constantly during this fight. Uh, so really, I think we're going to get a crack at uh, at making this work for us, but 
you know, we're going to have to encounter a little bit better luck than uh, one might otherwise get. Remember, I mean, last time I did this fight, uh, I also had uh, the blue candle, which really just allowed me to kind of stand still, uh, much in the way that I was doing right there. And I can still do that, but I'm going to take damage as a result. So um, I'm just going to fire the laser, and he got hit by the bomb at the same time. Remember, you know, with this cube of meat circling around, I should be able to do some damage just kind of by virtue of being there. Uh, and if I can dodge effectively, I, I really don't anticipate us dying on this fight. We, we'd have to get hit at least 11 more times, given the amount of health that we have. That's pretty unlikely, I would say. Uh, especially given that Isaac is now down to his third state. Just drop another bomb in there. Hopefully that takes out some angel fetuses as well. Uh, and we'll just come back in here and do exactly the same thing all over again. Uh, that didn't really work out as effectively as it used to. That's alright, took a little bit more damage, so let's get in there. Uh, and the invincibility is wearing off. We still have health off the screen, which is super valuable. We even got uh, an extra spirit heart for doing this. And you know what? Our dream of beating Blue Baby on a vanilla run twice in a row with Blue Baby is actually still totally alive here. So uh, we can see everything. Attack flies fine, especially with invincibility. Quad shots amazing. Guardian Angel uh, augments all of this to make it even better. This is sweet. Okay, so we got quad shot now. That's beautiful. Attack fly, Guardian Angel. This is going to really improve our defense. Uh, it's not the best, uh, series of items I've ever gotten in the chest, uh, but it's probably fairly close. So I was just doing a little bit of exploration here to see if, uh, the boss room was around here. So that was just me very quickly scouting out those rooms to see if it was going to be possible for us to basically skip over half of the floor. But, uh, it looks like we're at the very least we're going to have to go down to the left here. If it's not on the left, then we'll have to go over to the right, but thankfully it's not Curse of Blindness, so I can then figure out where there are dead ends. I think, did, did I go over this right? Yeah, okay, I did. That, that's, that's fine. Now we don't have spirit arts off the screen. Now we've got to be a little bit more cautious, and that's a range down. If I can generate more um, spirit hearts, I would love to. Remember, we do have the miter. We probably don't need a lot more. That's going to depend on how close we actually are to the boss room. Uh, but w uh, more would be better. <laughs> I would feel more confident. You know what? There we go. Just drop a, a laser shot in there. I was really hoping that would at least simplify the situation by killing one of those dudes. It didn't. Uh, but we, it, it took us, I guess, on the way to killing one of those dudes. Good. Uh, laser well spent. We're, we'll have a back for the boss fight. But it doesn't even matter if we have a back for the boss fight. Sure, PhD, whatever. I think we can use that to go pick up the range down pill and maybe it'll become something better now. I'm not sure, though. Don't quote me on that. And we still have 23 bombs. You know, if I have 9 hearts... Uh, wait, I don't have 9. I have 11 hearts right now. If I have 11 hearts when I go and fight Blue Baby, that's good. That's, that's A-OK -okay with me. That'll be enough to kill him, almost certainly. Uh, unless something goes terribly wrong. Probably like an 85 and 90 percent chance of success. Uh, of course, every heart that we lose lowers that fairly substantially. Sure, we'll check out the tarot cards here. Hanged Man isn't really going to do me much in that boss fight. Uh, now, of course, I could use the Joker card to fucking use that, um, judgment effectively. I don't even know what this will do. Let's just try it out see what happens. Sure, all stats upgrade. That is actually awesome, uh, and it makes it exceptionally unlikely that we're going to die on this boss fight. I think we are totally going to realize our dream of beating Blue Baby twice in a row as Blue Baby on Vanilla Runs. No challenge run necessary here. Uh, this will be amazing if it works. It's not 100% guaranteed yet. Uh, I'm going to stand super close to him. This is going to cause us to take damage, but at the same time, it's also going to allow us to do more damage because every single prong of the quad shot will actually hit him, which is exceptionally valuable. Yeah, we've already done over a third of his health. We're approaching like half of his health now. Uh, there's no way we're going to lose at this point. This is awesome. Two Blue Baby successes in a row. That is what I see when I said, like, let's play Isaac and get our confidence back a little bit. Those first few runs didn't really uh, help my confidence all that much. This one helps it a great deal, especially considering it's the second successful one in a row. You're dead, and we will take our eternal heart just for the coup de grace and move on. That is a very successful hour or so of Isaac play over the past two runs with a very unlikely source. But as always, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining or a little bit informative. Random number generator has been particularly good to me lately. As always, thanks for watching, and I will... See you next time.